Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to find the circumference of a circle, and we're also going to explain where the formula comes from to find the circumference of a circle. So this problem wants us to calculate the circumference of this circle using 3.14 for pi. Now, the circumference of a circle is just the distance around a circle. That is really just the perimeter of a circle. And one thing we should understand about a circle's circumference is that it is always 3.14 times greater than its own diameter. So if we knew the length of the circle's diameter, we could take that and multiply it by 3.14. To prove that a circle's circumference is 3.14 times greater than its diameter, we're going to take this circle and we're going to unravel it. We're going to take the distance around this circle and we are going to turn it into a straight line to show that distance as a linear measurement. And if you were to compare the distance of that circumference side by side with the diameter, we can see that it is in fact 3.14 times greater than its own diameter. So if you add up these diameters plus that little bit of leftover, that gives us 3.14 and that is what pi is equal to. It is the fact that it takes 3.14 diameters to be equal to a circle circumference. So to find a circle circumference, we could say that the circumference represented by c is equal to pi multiplied by the length of that circle's diameter, or pi times d. Now, some people like to use the formula circumference is equal to 2 pi r, and really that's just doubling a radius, which would give you one diameter. So let us go ahead and use this formula to find the circumference of our circle. The diameter of our circle is eight units across. If we mark a point right in the center, we can see that the circle's radius is four and that its diameter is equal to eight units. That means that one of these diameters is eight, the second diameter is also eight, and the third diameter is eight, and then we would have to find 0.14 of eight or 14% of eight and add that to this total right here. But what is a lot easier is we can just say that circumference is equal to pi times diameter. So we can take 3.14, which is the rounded version of pi. We can multiply that by this circle's diameter, which is 8. And if we multiply this out, that is going to give us 25.12 units. And we should remember that circumference is a linear measurement. It is one dimensional. So we don't go writing an exponent at the end of this because this is not area and it's not volume. So we don't put a three here if it were cubic units. It is just a one dimensional measurement. So that is basically how you find the circumference of a circle. You just multiply 3.14 by the circle's diameter and that is all there is to it. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.